That looks to be car number 47. One feature one to his credit tonight. That's Tommy Fox of Plainfield driving the Larry's of Stonington. Plainfield Greyhound Park sponsor Pontiac Grand Prix. Nine rows back in the inside looks to be car number 44 from Deep River, Connecticut. It's the Hanks Auto Machine, Shares Unisex Salon, ENS Reptiles sponsored entry. That's Gary Preble at the controls. Alongside will be car number 25 for Tommy Howard of Oakdale. Hey, tomorrow afternoon at 6 p.m. for a family fun night here at the Speedway. Fireworks, clowns from Cloud City, monster trucks, and a whole lot more. We get again, we get away at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. Once again, the field looks to accelerate into turn number four. Is Danny Cordway looks to send the field off. Scott Gregory and D. Nutting working up in that row number one. Gregory the first on the throttle as he leads the field out of turn number two. Here comes Mark Atkinson. Atkinson working down low with the eight. He looks to take over that runner-up spot. D. Nutting back to third being challenged by the seven X of Mark Atkinson. We've got three wide on the front stretch into turn number one. The field continues to dice four positions through the turns. Mark Atkinson coming out on top for third. We've got a couple cars in the Armco on the back stretch as we've got hard shots. Tommy Howard looks as though the 6X of CJ Fry involved plus one other automobile that we can't quite see from our vantage point. Early word from the access scene is that all the drivers are moving. That was a hard shot on the back stretch. We're not well, the 57 to Scott Gregory and the 8 of Mark St. Hilaire up in row number one. Hornwick looks to send the field off a little early this time around. And Scott Gregory gets a bite, but keep your eyes on Terry Brick in the deuce as Terry Brick looks to hammer his way through to the front. Brick working up high. He's got Mark Atkinson alongside down the back stretch into turn number three. Scott Gregory continues as your leader. Lap number two coming up this time around. Action hot and heavy in the first half of the pack as they continue to work door handle, door handle, bumper to bumper through the turns. Down the back stretch into turn number three. Mark Axon with a slight advantage over the deuce of Terry Brick. Here comes the 89 of Larry Cody. Cody working in that fourth position. Then it's Mark Atkinson. Make that Mark St. Hilaire battling with the 29 to David Blaine. Blaine comes out on top for that fifth position out on the speedway. That looks to be in the 19 of Rondo. Don't forget, he's got a borrowed motor underneath the hood. He's got Matt Kobolok's motor underneath the hood of car number 19. Four-time feature winner Tommy Fox right on Rondo's back bumper. They're looking to break into the top five. They're battling for the sixth position out on the speedway. Fox working down low. Rondo caught up high with the 19 as Tommy Fox coming out on top for that sixth position. Don't forget, don't count out George Bogogan at car number two. But we've got a brand new leader down the back stretches. Mark Atkinson comes to life with the 7X. He works his way past the 57 of Scott Gregory. Larry Cody now up to the third spot to do some Terry Brick running fourth. After that, it's the heavy hitters as Tommy Fox, George McGugan, Phil Rondo, and David Blaine all look for racing room. They're all working down the back stretch into turn number three. Fox looks to challenge for that fourth position. Foxy working down low has Terry Brick caught up high as Tommy Fox coming out on top for fourth. Next in line is Terry Brick, but here comes George McGugan and David Blaine. Blaine caught up high. That allowed the 19 of Rondo to slip down low. Rondo looks to take over that that spot as they run nose to tail out of turn number four. Mark Atkinson with about a five car length advantage over Scott Gregory in the 57. Larry Cody being challenged by the deuce this time of Terry Brick as Terry Brick looks to challenge Tommy Fox for his position out on the speedway. Now they're battling for position number five. Halfway marker out this time around. It'll be 10 down, 10 to go as the late models let to click off the circuits. Larry Cody continues to run in that third position. Terry Brick now back up to fourth, but caution is out on the speedway. Looks as though the five of Greg Peck facing the field looks to tighten up the ranks going into turn number three. In turn three, we'll see him pick up the pace just a bit as it's Atkinson that sets the pace. Out of turn number four, green flag out, 10 down, 10 laps remaining. Scott Gregory not up to racing speed. That allowed the 89 of Larry Cody to blast out to that runner-up spot. He's pulling George McGugan in the yellow number 22 along. Terry Brick in trouble with the deuce as he's off the pace. Looks as though a tire might be down that automobile. Farmer Phil Rondo dropping back just a bit with the 19 as Jerry Young and Tommy Goodrow look to make their way on by. 
Out of turn number four, it's Atkinson with the lead, but Larry Cody and George Bogogan loose to the 29 of David Blaine in trouble. Blaine having a tire going down that automobile. He's trying to get out of the racing room. As now Blaine going around over a turn number two, C.J. Fry tagged by the 10 of Ronnie. Field looks to accelerate through the turns. Mark Atkinson and Larry Cody up in row number one. A little bumper banging going on up in front as George McGugan battling with the 19 of Rondo, the 3 of Tommy Goodrow, and the 28 of Russ LaJoy. Now coming out on top for that third position, it's the 57 of Scott Gregory. Tommy Goodrow battling with the 22 of George McGugan. McGugan, high one, handsome with car number 22. We've got trouble on the front stretch as Tommy Fox runs into trouble with the 47. The deuce of Terry Brick also involved. Out of turn number four, Larry Cody with a quick jump into turn number one. Mark Atkinson running second, but here comes the three of Tommy Goodrow. Goodrow looking to make his way past the 57 of Scott Gregory. Gregory proving to be equal to the task through the turns as Gregory holds on to that third position. George Bogogan, he slips into fourth with a 22. That puts the three of Goodrow back to the fifth spot, and it's the 19 of Phil Rondo, Tucker Reynolds Jr. running next in line. Five to go, Mark out this time around as Larry Cody looks for his first feature victory of the evening as George McGugan goes around with the yellow number 22. McGugan taking a hard shot. Car looks bent and battered. Quite perhaps it's just a lot of sheet metal damage, a little suspension damage as well on the yellow number 22. <laughs> well, we're going to try it again through the turns. 14 down, six laps remaining. Larry Cody in the 50s to make that the 7X of Mark Atkinson. Little bump and go on the front stretch as the 57. Make that the 34 of Billy Reynolds and the 33 of Jerry Young take a hard shot to the turn one Armco. Really? I believe it's the right number 22 of Todd Cerevolo. Car number 89 for Larry Cody, quick on the throttle. Rewinding it, here we so go. Rewind into turn number one, Todd Cervolo. Four wide. Four wide, through the turns, a deuce to Terry Brick going around. He comes to a halt through the turns. Out of turn number four, this time by five to go, marker being displayed to Larry Cody in the 89. Terry Brick looking to get the deuce back out in competition. Unfortunately, he's going to go down a lap to the rest of the field. Scott Gregory running in that second spot with car number 57. Rondo now up to third. Mark Atkinson running fourth with the 7X. That's the three of Goodrow, the 28 of Russell Joy, the 22 of Todd Cervolo, and the 47 of Tommy Fox. Out of turn number four. The field looks to click off lap number 17. Terry Brick looking to retire the deuce to the infield. The TLB Auto Machine sponsors Chevrolet. As Larry Cody looking for his first feature victory of the season. We thought he had it a little earlier on this evening before he lost out to Tommy Fox. Now Larry Cody looks to pick up the two-to-go marker from Danny Cordaway. Scott Gregory in a fine run for him. He's holding on to that second spot. It's got our defending track champion, Farmer Phil Rondo, on his back bumper. White flag due out this time around. Final time around the one-third mile oval. Battle for that fourth position. Tommy Goodrow holding off Mark Atkinson and Russ LaJoy. Throw in the 47 of Tommy Fox. And you've got quite a battle for that fifth position out on the speedway. But out of turn number four for the final time, Larry Cody looks to pick up feature win of the season. Selling for the second spot. Car number 57 for Scott Gregory from Westbrook, Connecticut. The 19 of Farmer Phil Rondo. He settles for third. Tommy Goodrow from Plainfield. He settles for the fourth position. Well, Larry Cody driving the J&T Enterprises. P&J Tire. Morgan & White Appliance Sales. Quality Auto Parts of Middletown. Sponsored Pontiac. As Larry Cody from Taftville, Connecticut looks to pull down into victory lane. Joe Gold is going down trackside. He's going to have a word with your feature winner. The Autobots. All listed as sponsors are along with Diane's Beauty Corner. That's all on car number 89 for Larry Cody. The winner of the Porter and Jeff.
Custer Institute sponsored 20 lap late model feature as Larry Cody finally puts it all together for the J&T Enterprise Morgan White and Quality Auto Parts sponsored number 89. You know, Larry, a couple of times you've been out front, looks like you've had the win, and it all goes for naught tonight. Really paying dividends, it's got to be a pretty good feeling. Well, it feels great. It's been a long time. I got to thank the crew, Morgan White, Diane's Beauty Corner, everybody that helped me out. Uh, tonight, I really got to thank CB Fab. They lent me a motor this week. It was just a bunch of pieces they had laying around. That thing flies. Well, I'll tell you, you better look for that motor to stick around a while. You had a good run in the first feature. Didn't quite pan out the way you like, but this one, it's got to make it all feel better. Oh, yeah, this helped out a lot. You know, we were getting kind of down on ourselves because, like you say, we were out front a lot. We just couldn't get it to come through, but finally we did it. Thanks, guys. Anybody in particular you want to say thanks to? I know you got the whole crew, all your sponsors. Any one person out there really makes it happen for you? No, this is not one person team. This is all everybody together. That's what we like to hear, Larry. Congratulations. Go celebrate. Right now, we're down in Victor Lane.